2026 ping tweaks are here and genuinely this video will lower your ping it's incredible and full of tweaks let's get straight into it and do remember to leave a like down below and also comment down below what ping you started on and what ping you're going to finish on first tweak that we're going to do head over to the control panel literally just like so by searching it right here go on to control panel now go on to network and internet and of course network and sharing center once we're on here there's going to be a hyperlink right here for everyone make sure you do this by the way even if you're playing ethernet literally click onto it just like so once we're here go on to properties Properties. Once we're here, we're going to be doing a very important setting. Go on Internet Protocol version 4, go on to Properties just like so. Now, what we're going to be doing is using the best DNS server that is made for gamers and professional gamers. So to do this, use the following DNS server addresses. Make sure the preferred DNS server is 1111, as this is the Cloudflare DNS server for professional gamers, like I just said. Alternative DNS server 8888. This is the Google DNS server. Still very, very good, but obviously Cloudflare is better. That's why it's the preferred DNS server. Once you do these DNS servers, press on OK. Now your Wi-Fi will restart within your PC for about 10 to 15 seconds. Do not worry whatsoever. Now, whilst we're on this page, these are some settings that is using up usage in the background of your PC. Obviously, this can lead to high packet loss. So we can disable some of these. The first one we can disable, and by the way, this is completely safe. Do not worry about it. Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer Protocol. Untick it just like so. Microsoft LLDP, you can untick that one. And the two link layer topologies at the very bottom, you can untick it. They are completely safe by the way do not worry whatsoever once you do that one quick setting internet protocol version 6 go on to properties quickly make sure this dns server is automatic you do not want to use the following dns server on ipv6 once you do this press on ok now another thing that we can do is go on to configure click on to yes now just quickly go on to power management allow the computer to turn off this device you do not want this by the way even 0.5 seconds your computer can turn off your wi-fi obviously you don't realize it but that is what can cause a high pin or high packet loss in the background literally because your PC is turning off your Wi-Fi and you literally just don't know about it second thing that we need to do is go on to advance 802.11 wireless mode make sure you're playing on AC or AX these are the two fastest bands that you can play obviously mine's all bundled up but this is still fine and now if you're playing Ethernet by the way literally skip 20 seconds of this video because this is for a wireless setting now if you're playing wireless go on receive buffers go on 256 as the value transmit buffers 256 as the value and if you don't have transmit transmit buffers by the way literally comment down below i'll tell you guys how to get the transmit buffers now this tweak will be for everyone now we can go into the first thing that we need to do is right click on the bottom go on to task manager once we're on task manager go on to services literally just like so go on to open services now once we're on open services i'll minimize it for you guys what you want to do is scroll down to the very bottom until we see the xbox services this is in the background using up so much wi-fi usage it is genuinely insane so make sure you right click onto it go onto properties the service that this must be stopped if it's ongoing or anything like that stop it then go and start the type disabled just like so press apply press on okay now obviously if you're using the xbox app for clipping anything like that do not do this because it will not work now moving on to our next week what we're going to be doing is doing what all the pros are using right now and it's a ping boost of course this is free i'll leave this down in the description below it's called gear up what this is it connects you to the best path to the server region as possible so for example fortnite right here of course if you load up fortnite automatically it will guess what node or path to take to the server which can give you the lowest ping obviously this is not going to be right most of the time this is why me and many others are playing 70 80 sometimes even 90 ping but when you have gear up you can literally press boost just like so this actually does connect you to the best path or the server region as possible literally of course right now it's finding the best dns servers the best fortnite servers and just like that it's done of course this isn't just for fortnite by the way you can use this valorant cs2 anything like that and if you're wondering what fortnite pros are using this asian jeff miro faxity and also zen one of the the best players right now so make sure you give gear up a go if you're suffering with very high ping and packet loss now moving on to our next week now for our next week this is super important that you do by the way if you actually do want lower ping all you have to do head over to the search bar this time search cmd command prompt go and run as administrator now in the top left it's going to say administrator now this may look confusing but do not worry whatsoever i'll guide you through it. it's very very simple but very very effective now i have lines of code that i'll put in the description for you guys and i want all of you guys to follow along right here the first line of code flush the dns cache fixes low slow connections to servers and random lag spikes here is the command right here i'll literally leave it down in the description for you guys Control c to copy it then go on to cmd Control v to paste press enter literally just like that it's going to say successfully flush the dns resolver cache now this does lower ping very very slightly but again super important that you do the second line of code release and renew ip address fixes unstable wi-fi and packet loss here are the two commands you have to run it both at the same time by the way 
and I'll literally again just paste it in CMD. I won't be doing that tweak because it literally just comes up with your IP address. Obviously, I don't want that all over YouTube. Now, as for the third one, reset Winstock fixes deep network problems. Here's the command right here again. These are three CMD commands. Again, of course, please do leave a like and subscribe on this video because these CMD prompts do take a while to find. Now, go on to CMD, press enter, just like that. Successfully reset the Winstock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Do this at the end of this video, by the way. Don't get trigger happy and do it right now. Now, as for our next week, super important if you do want low ping, but again, this is very, very controversial. Now, go onto the search bar, search game mode settings. Now, game mode, optimize your PC for play by turning things off in the background. This does, in fact, lower your ping, but sometimes you may hear PC tweakers actually say, Ginger, you ha should actually have game mode off. This is also true. Now, this is two sides of the story. Game mode off does mean you have more frames because there's less strain on your CPU and your GPU. When game mode is on, just like it says, it does turn things off in the background, which is less strain on your Wi-Fi. Now, if you want low ping, go game mode on. If you want higher FPS, go game mode off. It's literally two sides that you guys got to choose. For me, I prefer game mode on because my ping really isn't that good, but my PC is very good for frames. That's why I can keep this on. Now, another thing that we need to do once we're done with that is press Windows and R at the same time on our PC. Now, run's going to pop up. What you want to type is TEMP, literally just like so. These are temporary files running in the background of your PC, which you do not want. I'll literally show you. These are just lines of code, as you can see right here, using up your Wi-Fi usage. So what you want to do is control A to highlight all of it. Once you have highlighted all of it, literally delete it just like so. Press the tick, press the skip. Now comment down below, by the way, how many files you had here. I've seen some people have like 500 or 600 files. If you have more than that, literally comment it down below. That is crazy. Now again, by the way, press Windows and R. This time, search percent TMP percent. So percent temp percent. Now go on OK again. As you can see right here, I have 1,100 files, which is just not good for your PC. Again, control A to highlight it all. Go on delete just like so. This one's going to take a tiny bit longer, but as you can see, all of it is getting recycled. But again, make sure you press this tick button and skip as many times as you possibly can. And now once that's all complete, as you can see, I have 33 items that I just cannot delete. Once you're done with that, press the X, go on the search bar. This time search recycling bin just like so. And again, control A. As you can see, I have 2,482 items running in the background. People forget about the recycling bin so, so much. And I know most of you in the comment section are going to be like, oh yeah, Jinchi, I completely forgot about the recycling bin. So make sure you delete it from there. Now, once you're done with that, and now one last tweak that we need to do, and again, very, very important, right click on the bottom, go onto task manager, and again, go onto services. Now, again, simple, same as before, open the services. This time we're looking for the S column. Once we're on the S column, literally right here, it will call, it'll be called sys main. Now, maintains and improves system performance over time. It's slightly bottlenecking all of your components, including your Wi-Fi connection. So instead of going 100%, it's going 85% because it wants to improve system performance over time, which you just do not want. Genuinely, no one cares about that. We just want the highest frames and the lowest ping possible. So now right click onto it, go onto properties, startup type disabled, and same as before, the server status has to be stopped. Now press apply, press okay. I know most people say you should not disable sysmain because obviously it might take one or two days out of your PC. Genuinely, who cares about that? Five years time, you're going to have different components anyway. Now, once you're done with that, please do leave a like and subscribe as it means so, so much to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.